this is Kiki here. Those long roots that grow up the tree then branch out into the small flax bushes right there at the end. This tree here has come down in a storm and the kiki has come down with it so it's got uh, a good selection of uh, dried kiki and easy access so I'll grab some from here. Here's our next one, Kiki. Let's try that out. I'm going to show you this one here afterwards. As you see, it's a slightly different color. It's a lot more pliable than this Kiki. All, all off the same plant. This one hasn't just just hasn't dried out as much yet. I just want to have a play with that a little bit later. Okay, scrunch it up. Get it nice and fibrous. A little powdery. Hold that spark and hold that ember. Yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. This thing just forms up into a bird's nest straight away. You get a bundle of this. Um, it's quite easy to get to that stage. Let's get the, all that knee cow off of that. On an honest appraisal. Okay, see what we got. How's that? Kiki leaves. Yeah, quite pleased with that one. <laughs> it's as I thought, the cabbage leaf of, of the cabbage tree has oil in it. So it's good for fire. Coincidentally, the um, or interestingly enough, the, the bark is good for fireplaces because it doesn't burn on a cabbage tree. But the cabbage tree leaf has oil in it. This kiki leaf, I believe, has the same. I haven't really studied up on it, I just believe it has the same. Okay, let's get that down onto the ground. Put it out. Kiki leaf. Very good result. This is a kiki leaf as well. This one here, just not quite as dried out. Let's see what we can get out of this. I'm just wondering if it has more oil in it. Maybe the oil hasn't evaporated or something like that. I don't know. I'm just going to experiment here. This is a darker brown than the the uh, nice kiki leaf that we just ignited. Yeah, and this guy doesn't want to break up as much as the other one, which means it'll not going to take a spark as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and stick a spark in there, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Oh, let's have a good go. See what we can do here. Yeah, can't do much. This is what we got to work with. Okay, that's the best I can do. See if it does anything. Well, I'm surprised. The first kiki leaf was nice and dry, uh, ignited immediately, um, almost immediately. This guy ignited on the first first go, and I didn't even think it was going to be dry enough. You know, that's uh, part of practicing and getting out there. I still don't know the answer as to why that went off and the other one better than the other kiki, but um, I'm presuming it's because of the oils that are in it. Um, it was much harder to uh, to get that fibrous and powdered up, you know, by rubbing it and the things that we need to do to, to get that. But it still had enough, um, I don't know, enough oil, enough ability in it 
to ignite immediately into flame. So that's pretty good. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, it's uh, pretty good. There was a spark in there. It just slowly went out. That's a wasted shot. Okay. I think it would reignite. Just need more of it. So, Kiki leaves. Best one so far. And best by far. It went really well as compared to the Nikau.